Boy, that was good. Are we doing the review? <laughs> Welcome back to our Stupid Reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin and this is Rick. I still don't know what we're doing. Uh, we're reviewing <gasps> Student of the Year 2! Yeah! <laughs> Best movie ever! <laughs> we are not reviewing that. <laughs> if you didn't tell that by the thumbnail, yeah. uh, you're stupider than me. We watched, uh, I can't Rang say Rang de Basante. Rang de Basante. Color it saffron. Is that what it means? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? I like that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Um, but uh, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter! From all And so, um, this we reacted to, we're doing a review, and hey, it's gonna be a completely spoiler review. So. All of our reviews are spoiler reviews, because these movies have come out a long time ago, and uh, go away if you haven't seen this yeah. movie, and then come back. Go watch it. Yeah, go watch um, it. Because there's gonna be spoilers. Yes. You've been warned. Starting now. Yep. Everyone dies. Everyone dies. That's Everyone. And then some people come back from the dead and they kill them again. That's true. <laughs> um, but uh, we watched a trailer and then everybody just said, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch oh, it. Oh, man. Like, it was like wildfire. It was. I don't know that there's been another one that has gotten such a, pa I mean, on YouTube and on Instagram and on Twitter of stop what you're doing, put it at the top of the list, you've got to watch this, you have no idea, this shook me, this rocked me. Yeah. Okay. And uh, some people did say to watch a different one first to get the backstory of the Freedom Fighters. Right. Um, we talked to other people that said it wasn't necessary and I, I mean, it might give a little more information, but I don't feel like I miss out on anything. Right. I felt like I understood. And obviously there's more we could learn, that's no doubt. No obviously. doubt. Uh, but I don't feel like I missed out on any, like I didn't understand anything because I didn't know the backstory. Right. In um, fact, that, that's what I wanted was to come into it, even though I knew there was a backstory and a history. I, I was concerned that learning some of that would spoil whatever it was the movie was going to say. It's probably hit or miss mm -hmm. because cause so many people who watched this film for the first time knew it. Yeah. So. It's um, a big part of the history. Right. Um, but yeah, it, it, it kind of... Um, opens up, um, uh, and it's, well, I, I actually love how this film went between the film and real life. I thought it was beautifully done. I couldn't agree with you more. I, I thought it was really, really well done, and, uh, like, it was almost flawless, because you, you start off and you're like, oh, this is like a... Nice biopic. And then, oh, yeah. And then it switches over to wherever this lady, London, or mm -hmm. wherever she was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she was in London. Uh, and she wanted to do a documentary about her grandfather, who was the white guy. Who, right. Which is probably the best white guy we've seen in Indian cinema. Unquestionably <laughs> the best guy that we've seen in any of the roles of the film. We understand that's how you feel about Indians in American cinema. Right. I'm not saying anything. I'm just no, we're just, we noticed that. Just commenting. Guys, and you guys commented and it agreed that the majority of the people that represent either the Brits, and I, I think they do it on purpose for the Brits. Yeah. They <laughs> probably make it awful in every way, but yeah, he was as as he was in the trailer. Yeah, he was solid. He for was such a small role. Yeah, um, but then they, then you kind of get into it, and it almost feels for a while like a buddy comedy, romantic mm -hmm. comedy kind of thing. Right, and then obviously like the, Deborah almost. Yeah, yeah, um, and then it just kind of smacks you in the mouth a couple times. Yeah, and then just punches your lights out at the end. Yeah, um, and. Like the the part like uh, I think when it really started to get good and I didn't see it coming was when uh, her husband died mm -hmm. or their son or whoever. Yeah, and I just yeah. since you said that, let's give her a shout out. The mother? No, the his the girl. Oh, the wife. The wife. Moments like that are so incredibly difficult. Oh yeah, she did a great job. Um, any false moment, any falsity you have is so obvious because that is there isn't a more raw vulnerable, ugly cry moment in your life than receiving that kind of information. Like if you're, your husband or wife yeah, I mean, there's just dies, you, you, you can't, those are the hardest things to do. Yeah, and, and I did she like did a great that job. She, she didn't let uh, anybody kind of touch her um, for, and, yeah, for a long yeah. time. I, and I, I felt like if she let somebody hold her like right away, I was like, mm, that doesn't seem right to me. The most, impor the the most important, the most important thing. Go yourself, everybody. Yeah. For me, it was irrespective of whether she did let them hold or not. Mm -hmm. It was honest. Yes, it was. 
I, I don't even know if that was scripted and they told her, okay, when they come and it's scripted, they come to comfort her, but she refuses the comfort that may have been scripted that way. Mm -hmm. Or it may have just been her choice because that's what her character, like you, if she was that kind of a person is like, get, get away from me. Mm -hmm. The most important thing in that moment, in a singular word for me was that she was honest. I believed her. I felt like we, we were really watching a girl um, getting the news that her husband is, she just saw him. The and I thought the, he's dead. I thought the mom did really well too. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about that. Well, the, the whole different cast. stuff. Uh, yeah. I actually, I was thinking about it. There's so much in this movie, I promise you, lots of you will be disappointed that we didn't talk about something. Yes. Because there's, there's too a, much there's to talk a about. a lot in this uh, film. Um, but I, I was going to say, the I think, I could be totally forgetting something, I think this is my favorite Amir Khan performance. Yeah, this is a tough one to... Um, it's just, it's more my style Yeah. Uh, of, of, of acting, and so I, that's, I, I was drawn to his performance, and I was like, I could... This is the one Amir Khan performance I think I could play. Right. I don't think I could play a lot of his other stuff. It's, no, it's just, and whereas I would never... Yeah. Partly because of the age, of, I'm too old to play that role. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't have... Maybe it's because he's younger than this, maybe. I don't know. But even if I was that age, I don't know that I would have... When I was that age, I wouldn't have played that role. Yeah. Um, you would. Yeah. And, and for me, I'm, I'm, PK is yeah, yeah. the one that I connect yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. But not, I so connected with this as well as I connected with everybody. And I think what I liked about this most was um, there was a serious tone to this that was different than any other serious tone that he has had in the other films. Because he gets serious in all the other, in Three Idiots, mm -hmm. PK, Dangle, uh, which Dangle's yeah. quite the freaking Dangle's, role. yeah, that's a good, that's, that's a performance. That's a great that performance. I, I was like, I would play that. That's one I would want to do. Oh, yeah. For that. sure. That's a good one. But, uh... What was great about this as well, the direction and everything didn't need to make him be the standout. This was pure, this was a truly ensemble piece. Oh, yeah. This is not an Amir Khan and film. And there was such... It's an ensemble piece. It was directed piece. by, you want to say his name for me? Uh, yeah. Directed by Rakesh Amprakesh Mera. I yeah. hope that was accurate. He, he's directed a bunch, but he's uh, another, another big one is the running one. Oh, yeah. That we haven't uh, seen yet, but... Correct. Um, well, let's talk, since we're talking about him... Uh, he wrote it as well because it says he's a writer. Uh, no, he's not the main. Not writer. part of the no. team. No. Well, the direction I thought, the juxtaposition of the past and the present, and not only throughout but toward the end, especially that one moment where the split screen of Amir Khan looking at each other, mm -hmm. and both of them about to die mm -hmm. in that moment. That could have been really cheesy, mm -hmm. and I didn't think it was. I thought yeah. it was quite I thought, great. Yeah, I thought the it's just like um, a Wednesday, the ending. Um, I I really enjoyed because in what way? You, you, it to you a don't Wednesday. know how to feel about it. Oh yeah, okay. Yes, I agree with you. No, Same kind is, of let's thing. talk about that. Same kind of thing um, because they murdered somebody. Yeah. Rightfully so. Understandably. And just Understandably. Like, just, just like a Wednesday. But still, they murdered somebody. Right. Right? Correct. And so... It, Does the end justify the means? Yes. Um, so, and you, you totally understand why they do it, but it's still murder. Right. <laughs> and they, they admit that. Yeah, they admit it, and that's what I loved. And it, it, they all... They all died in the end. Sorry. Spoiler. <laughs> um, and I loved that. I, I love that it... Like no one got saved in the in the end. Yeah, I, I love yeah, that. I would have been really angry if the one survivor was Amir Khan and he goes out and he meets the girl and they're so sad that everybody that would have sucked. Yeah, yeah. I'm, Thank you for killing I'm, them all. I'm glad. <laughs> well, was this true? I, no, I don't believe I, well, this is a true story. This part is not true, but the the freedom <gasps> the freedom fight fighters is is, 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 the, is a true part of this. Absolutely. Story, right? Okay, that is a one hundred percent true. As is the. I thought it was quite bold and brave considering what we know, the limited information we have about the film industry and politics and what things can be said or shouldn't be said, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. My suspicion is this was pretty groundbreaking in terms of it pushing buttons and stretching out the envelope in terms well, it of... It came out in 2006, so it was a little it, bit ago. Yeah, a little bit ago. Yeah. But it is pretty unashamedly pointing fingers at everybody. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, uh, and... One of my favorite parts and characters 
was actually the guy who was the jerk in the beginning, who was being mean to the Muslim. He was great. And then he had this whole what a character, character arc. Yeah, a whole amazing character. And oh. the actor himself, he's a phenomenal actor. I like him a lot. Me too. Um, but yeah, his whole arc was beautiful. Beautiful. And then, then his relationship had ended with him holding hands with the, the Muslim yeah. guy in the end. Yeah. Um, and then the whole Muslim guy's um, relationship with his family. Yeah. Um, that that whole dynamic was intriguing and different and I, and complex. Yeah, nothing was oversimplified. Nothing was tied up in a bow. Everything was left with it being messy, painful. Um, no one has answers, but there's this undercurrent of there is an absolute. There are <laughs> there are absolutes in this world. So I'll get on a little soapbox about that because this talks about absolutes of moral truth, mm -hmm. right and wrong. And somebody once said, uh, there are no absolutes. That's an absolute statement. <laughs> so there you go. Um, to say there are no absolutes, you self-contradict in the statement. And the fact that underlying all of this, they even said, I think on the radio program, we're not saying that what we did was right, but what we are saying is what happened was wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, whether or not we were right in what we did, that's, that's not the point. Mm -hmm. The larger point in this is something's wrong. And I would rather, the message you get from this is, I would rather make a mistake doing something because in my heart I think something's wrong. I'd rather make a mistake doing something than not do anything. Yeah. And just, uh, and in fact, there's many quotes about that. that yeah, is, I, I love the whole radio sequence. It was great. Especially and when people started, great. started calling in and he was answering them honestly. Yes. Um, and he was like, yeah, uh, yeah, I agree. We shouldn't have done this. We shouldn't have taken it into our own hand, but we did. And the uh, people they got, when he obviously, when it had lit a fire, and the news is covering all of the people talking on microphones, was that real coverage about something political? Because it looked like real coverage and real people passionately sharing their views. I, I, I thought, man, you got a really good bunch of unknown actors. Yeah. Because I believed every single one of those people was passionately talking about something political. I did like that uh, he killed his father, too. I didn't see that coming. I didn't see it coming, either. And I was like, oh, I, I think my face was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, so. and, and, and I think they wanted to do this and convey this, but that moment when they were all seated, and I think she says it to the mom and says, this, this could get ugly. And she says, let it. And it does. And it, there, from that point, the swell, oh, yeah. I, I can't, I can't imagine. Yeah, that was a hard scene then when they were picking them up, the protesters. Oh yeah. But I, the, the level of, and without knowing anything about the, the, the freedom fighters prior that, that are the main heart of the story that inspired them, which I thought was, it's just beautiful how the, the ghosts of the past were like smiling and nodding to them for their having taken their journeys at the beginning, they are representing and they're portrayed as the generation that just doesn't care and thinks India is a pile of crap. Mm -hmm. And it's always gonna be a pile of crap, who cares? Mm -hmm. And they get infused with this sense of patriotism, which for somebody, I can't imagine this has got to be the most inspiring film for an Indian in terms of the sense of national pride and the truth about the heart of what an Indian really is. That's what I captured from this was, this goes way beyond political and military pride. This goes back down mm -hmm. to pride about being Indian and what those colors are supposed to represent and that the true heroes are the people that are willing to truly die mm -hmm. for it. Uh, I, I, like you said, he sent me a text he, after he watched it, he said, in caps, you 100% cried watching this movie. <laughs> and I replied, duh. <laughs> I did not. Yeah. If you had any hopes, oh, you have little, you know nothing, Jon Snow. You don't know anything about it. <laughs> uh, now, if they had killed a dog. Yes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, and also I want to talk about the score real quick. Oh, yeah, thank but, you. Not a shocker, knowing who the composer is. No, of course. Is. Of course. But, but <laughs> they it's, are Raman. It's kind of like, you know, 
you just because someone's brilliant like John Williams or Hans Zimmer all the time, you're like, oh, you could screw it up. But man, it did not. Just yeah, I thought it was just yeah, it was perfect. It was, it was beautiful, beautiful, um, and also for being so old, to not feel old at all. Felt um, like it had just come out. Yeah, um, it, yeah, the whole whole performances by everybody. The the only issues I think I had were more towards the beginning. There was some actors who weren't very good but that happens in every film um but like yeah I, I didn't even there was nothing that stood out to me as a um, big flaw in any way yeah but I, that's basically yeah I really I, I wouldn't say this is a flawless film but I wouldn't no. I, there's nothing that stands out where I can point to anything that I see it's fact this this is way for me this is way at the top of the list of films that are the, my favorites that we've seen. Oh yeah, I think so too. Way, way, way at the top. I th I'm pretty sure it's in my top five. Oh, no, exactly. I don't know how many we've watched. We've so watched far. Uh, oh, thirty, maybe thirty to forty. Thirty. Yeah. Um, That's um, I because I have a list of the ones we've watched. Yeah. We're in the, we're in the thirty something range. Maybe when we get to fifty or a hundred, we'll do a top ten. Yeah, <laughs> we should. We should. I don't I'd know. Like to, I'd like to know your top ten. Yeah, we, we need to. Figure out how many we've actually watched, though. So yeah, I've got a list. Watch like fifteen. I've, I don't no, know. we. I guarantee we're, <laughs> we are in the thirties.